now we know that the sequences that are repeated within the genome they cause problem in assembling the large genomes the overall strategy to sequence the genome is we clone the large fragments of genome into a bac and bac stand for the bacterial artificial chromosomes so these are these are specially designed vectors in which the large size of the fragment can be ligated and the size of the fragment is around 150000 base pairs so for the human genome that has a size of 3 billion base pairs we need at least 30000 bases that that means that the 30000 fragments size of 150000 base pair they are ligated with the bases and these fragments they overlap with each other so for sequencing we use each of the bases that is now uh, can be considered as a mini genome and that is sequenced one by one and this bac to bsc strategy is helpful also and it simplifies the computational assembly problem in the way that the repeating units that are repeating fragments that are present in the human genome that are reduced by 30000 times because we have used the 30000 bases to sequence the human genome so this uh, bsc to bsc problem uh, uh, strategy that is known as the whole genome sequencing strategy is also adopted in the sequencing of other organism such as the mice and rat and this strategy proves to be very successful in sequencing the large uh, animals so this strategy was advocated by the two scientists named as the james weber and jean mayers so one of the scientists jean mayer it worked in the celera biotechnology company that announced the first human draft in 2001 so mayer Uh, worked on the fragment assembly problem and both of these scientists weber and mayer they advocated and they suggested that the read size should be increased from 500 to much larger in order to overcome the problem of these repeated units so if we consider that the length of the gene Uh, we want to sequence is l so we can increase the reading sequence the read sequence uh, to a much higher value and and this suggested that the sequence that is used for the sequencing the both ends of that fragment should be sequenced and this strategy leads to the new technique known as the uh, mates strategy the sequencing mate strategy in which the both sequences they are uh, sequenced and then they are used as a pair to read the sequences and the se reads that are produced after sequencing of both the ends they are called as mates and they are uh, have a distance of l that is much larger than the sequences that are present within the human genome sequence so the advantage of this sequencing at the both ends and producing the mates is that it is very rare chances that the both of the sequence they will compare fall within the repeated units and fragments in the human genome so most fragment assembly algorithm consist of the following three steps first is the overlap step in which we find the potentially overlapping reads second is the layout in which we find the order of the reads along the dna and third is the consensus deriving the dna sequence from the layout the overlap problem is to find the best match between the suffix of one read and the prefix of the another for example we see that this is the one read this is the second read third read fourth read so we find that this is the suffix and this is the prefix of the second one and suffix of the first one they overlap with each other similarly this is the suffix of the 
second one and this is a prefix so they overlap with each other and so on so by using this strategy we can sequence the whole fragments into a one single genome so the finding the longest suffix of one string that exactly matches the prefix of the another string is basically the theme of this sequencing strategy however the sequencing errors force any of the scientists to use a variable of the dynamic programming algorithm for sequencing alignment since errors are ranging from 1% to 3% the common practice is to filter out pairs of fragment that do not share a significantly long common substring and the idea was that we can return we can combine these uh, fragments and get the whole genome so constructing uh, the layout is the hardest step in the fragment assembly the difficulty is in deciding whether two fragments really overlap that is their differences are caused by sequencing error or actually come from two different copies of a repeat so repeat represents a major challenge for whole genome shotgun sequencing and make a layout problem very difficult so we have to consider whether these overlapping if they are overlapping here and they if they are not overlapping and there is some differences so we cannot say by surety that these overlapping and the differences are due to the errors in the sequencing strategy or it is the fragment of some other part of the genome so the final consensus step of fragment assembly amounts to corresponding errors in sequence reads the simplest way to build a consensus is to report the most frequent characters in the layout constructed in the layout steps so this assumes that each position in the genome was represented by a sufficiently large number of reads to ensure the experimental error are reduced to minor noise